were not going to say that we are going to wait for the first complaint to come in. What will SEBI do on this issue? Hello. Mr. Bhavet, this is Shivnath Desai. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, Shivnath, I can hear you. Good afternoon, sir. What is SEBI's initial reaction? And I hope this time the investors want to hear something more than uh, SEBI saying that we will wait for an official complaint to come to us, sir. Uh, actually, the uh, letter uh, that uh, Mr. Raju is supposed to have written has come to us as well. This is an issue which has uh, very serious implications. It involves the Companies Act. It involves the violation of listing agreement with SEBI. It also raises the issue of the authenticity of accounts that have been audited and certified by the auditor. So we are in touch with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs so that there is coordinated action in the matter. Mr. Bhave, at the face of it, on the face of it, you said that there are violations in very, under various departments, SEBI, company affairs, uh, under the chartered accountancy issues. Uh, Whatever comes under your realm, sir, what is the first action you can take? Of course, there has to be a coordinated action because you cannot have different uh, legal arms acting on their own. Uh, what is the first action that SEBI is likely to take under the provisions of the existing law? Uh, actually, uh, currently, Shivnath, what we need to do is to go beyond this letter and find out what has actually happened and then decide the course of action. As far as SEBI is concerned, uh, I think our first and foremost uh, priority should be that the truth comes out and the investors know what the true state of affairs in the company is. Because uh, we do not even know whether there are more things that need to be looked into apart from what is mentioned in the letter or not. But even what the letter mentioned is uh, very serious. And as I said, it has uh, implications that are... Uh, absolutely uh, important for the market. Uh, when you say that you've gone through the letter to you, what was the most startling element, uh, Mr. Bhave? Uh, we have seen, we, it so seems that they have been cooking up the books on the face of it. To you, uh, who has had legal experience, who've been in a regulatory position for so long, what was your first observation, sir? Actually, Shivna, there are uh, many things in that letter which uh, one wouldn't uh, imagine would be happening, but the uh, Probably the thing that strikes you the most is that uh, a cash balance gets certified, which is non-existent. Okay, and uh, that raises questions not just on the management but the auditor as well. What about the listing requirements, Mr. Bhave? Aren't they supposed to uh, have some foolproof checks about, as far as the listing agreements are concerned? Uh, Shrinath, uh, the line broke, so I didn't get your question. Could you repeat it, please? Mr. Bhavi, what I'm asking is from an investor perspective, aren't there enough checks and balances in the system? So let's say if the auditor failed, as far as the listing agreement with the stock exchange is concerned, there would be some foolproof element there as well. Are you saying that all layers of checks and balances failed in, in the case of Satyam? See, I don't want to reach a conclusion there, but uh, as far as the financial statement of a company is concerned, uh, everybody relies on the fact that these statements have been audited by a firm of chartered accountants and that this has been placed before the audit committee and then the board has approved it. So the management responsibility as well as the responsibility of the entity auditing these accounts are issues that we will have to go into and see where exactly the failure has occurred. But that failure is of a proportion that uh, one would not have expected it to happen at all. Mr. Bhave, in your experience, uh, from an investor perspective, we've just lost in the current morning 70% of their uh, market value. Uh, what can uh, be done to assure them that nothing further will go wrong? Uh, issues like suspension in the stock, of uh, trading of the stock till uh, more action is taken or more confidence is restored. Can we uh, expect those actions by SEBI as well? Uh, Shivnath, I don't want to anticipate anything. As I said, uh, we are um, concerned by what uh, we have seen. But we need to get more facts in order to be able to take action. And we are ensuring that there is coordinated action. But Mr. Bhavit, the stock is in a free fall. I'm sure the investors want to hear more from you on that. The stock is in a free fall. It's down 70%. Uh, you have to do something to assure them. Shivnath, uh, the point is that that assurance should be based on facts, isn't it? So we have to be careful what that we tell the, the investors. That letter which has been written to the board, Mr. Bhave. That letter has been uh, disclosed to the investors. What we need to go and uh, do now is to find out 
as to how did such a thing operate over a period of time? So who has failed in the system? Who needs to be brought to book? These are all issues that will have to be addressed.